finished here at the Keats Hospital Care Stadium. Biggles Way United 3, Aussie Town 2. What's the emotions after that, Christian? Well, I'm really happy again because I think that everyone um, deserves that. So, uh, supporters, the players, uh, backroom staff. We're also going through some uh, personal uh, shit from some members of the staff and some players also. So really well deserved. I think that it has been like a change of uh, script today that we needed. Um, we've been much better in the first half, having also much more uh, chances and, uh, you know, not being as clinical while well, a post, a crossbar. So I think we really deserve um, better luck than, uh, than what we had in the first half. Um, the second was more complicated. They were targeting also the players that we had with yellow card. At the end, we just saved Josh, but lost uh, Kai. But yeah, so happy for, for each one of them because with them, they've been working like... I mean, we were just wanting um, to um, keep the momentum of the first half into the second, knowing that it would be, of course, difficult. They've got good players and, and they wanted to do what they wanted to do. So but we did it pretty well. So uh, happy for absolutely everyone. Delighted. It just looked like no matter what was going to happen today, was away. We're just not going to be let down today. You, the, even the injury at the end of Mason uh, had to be stopped off at half time. As you mentioned, you taking off Josh, then the Kai sending off and still coming back. I think just when you see a performance like that, is that something that can really rejuvenize the season potentially? I hope that it works. Um, I hope that it works in terms of. Uh, I, I told them that this week, I mean, we knew that uh, that's the best senior cup, but I told them that that was a six point uh, week also because winning today, we've got an important game, a winnable game also against uh, Oldby, and that means that uh, what we wanted is just to probably just to put a lot of effort today, just to show themselves uh, that we can make it. And then I think that it's pretty clear after the performance, just not only for the score, if we would have been losing and not going through the next uh, round, I think that performance ways, you know, they cannot say nothing to each other. So it's like if we put this uh, kind of display on and off the ball on uh, Saturday, it will be, um, well, has to be, you know, it's like, it's what I said, today usually with the luck that we've been having, it's like to lose the game before the penalties also, you know, and with 10, so, and um, they've shown that also on a 10 uh, against 11, we've, we've done it, so hopefully um, we just transfer this onto a much needed league situation. But for me, we faced the, 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 the we have faced today the game like a, like a league game, and, uh, and it went really well, to be honest. Um, what was Jack Marshall like at half-time after? Because it was, he had a really good first half, I thought. Made some good saves and just about one little thing right at the end of the first half. And I saw the players straight away going up to him, keep your head up, keep your head up. And I told him, do it again. I mean, if you're going to fail, fail here with me. So it's like, and if I'm not punishing you, I'm not going to load that you punish yourself. So uh, I don't know personally the Latino, but he's been super first half, second half. A difficult uh, moment to come in because uh, uh, both keepers, uh, we've got uh, them off. He had training yesterday with under 23s. He's been training with us, luckily, so it's not a, a stranger for us, not for the players. He's been doing great then for me. Um, the goal that we considered the first one that uh, is a bad execution, be execution because I think that the, the decision was great, but the execution was he failed. Uh, I hope that he keeps doing this game after game, honestly. It's like he's been. We also did see the return of Charlie Black come back in the team. Could you really tell the difference with him being in that midfield for you? No, he, he's great. I mean, he's been absolutely great always um, under our management here. So, so happy to have him. He's been trying his luck in Finland, in the US, uh, he is going to be keep trying because it's what he has to and it's what he wants, so I'm going to just back him always, but he's completely delighted to have him and to see him uh, playing uh, under this uh, badge and with our competition, he's a player that loves the game, and he's so clever also, so he makes my life easier and I think that um, his team makes life easier, so super nice. I think, well, including him and probably a good three or four or five, I could have probably given Man of the Match tonight. But now that I've gone with him, is Markel Cousins. So, I really, he's he's had bright spells here and there coming off the bench this season. But that that was an incredible performance, I thought, from Markel Cousins. He's done everything, and 
from well the 90 minutes and after the the free kick, his ankle was uh, slightly injured and he he asked if he could came up. We ran out of substitutions, so we said it's just 10 minutes. And I said to Dell anyway, I I know him, so I told him if he has few balls more in attack that he thinks that he can make it, he's gonna forget his ankle, and that has happened. So he's. His performance today has been probably the best since he's with us. He has been always showing um, sparks about what he can do, but today he's been really consistent. The 90 minutes um, on the ball is being unbelievable and it's been delightful to see from outside. Off the ball, he has worked his socks off. So, special mention, and yeah, absolutely agree and more than recognize he's a man of the match. So happy for him also. Congratulations to my Christian. I'm here with the man of the match, Marco Cousins. Um, what was the vibe like in the changing room after a performance like that? Absolutely buzzing. Happy to go through to the next round. Done it for Dell, done it for guys at home. And yeah, boys are buzzing to go through. I've seen spells when, spells when you've come on, you've always looked like you can do something when, when coming on um, off the bench for Christian the last few games or since the start of the season, really. But a lot of us saw a different uh, a side to you, which I've got to be honest, I. I didn't know you had that in you. I really didn't. It was an incredible performance. Cheers, appreciate it. Just, I'm young. I'm trying to push. I want to start every week, obviously. So I've just got to show the gaffer what I can do. Hopefully, I proved is, it. Is that what you've been saying in training? Just trying to get he, that start. He knows. He knows what I want to do. I want to start. I want to prove to the lads that I can start week in, week out. So hopefully, there's a point proven. Absolutely, and hopefully now this can be a um, a big push. Now a big win like that in a big game against a local team, cup semi final. Of course, another big game on Saturday. You're hoping to start again on Saturday. 100%. We're, we're buzzing to go through, obviously, but now the focus is on Saturday. Get the three points then, and then go forward in the league. Thanks for your time, Marco. Enjoy Cheers, it. Cheers, thank Brilliant. you. Well done, be man of the match. Cheers, thank you.